Hi, welcome to the Angicus SRT setup instruction video. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to set up an Angicus camera stream using the SRT protocol. These instructions will be applicable to just about any SRT ready product, but today we'll be using vMix as the receiver for our cameras. vMix is an excellent piece of live video production software used to mix audio, video, switch streams, broadcast, and record. It's an excellent product, and we're happy to call vMix an Angicus partner. SRT is a protocol used in transmitting video over the public internet. It is a secure and reliable method of transmitting video and was in fact developed to replace the satellite trucks you might see news stations using. Once you're transmitting video from one geographic location to another point far away, SRT is an excellent choice for mitigating the problems associated with unstable networks. It's been used by organizations such as the NFL, NASA, and SpaceX for video and data transmission. We're proud to say that Angicus is a member of the SRT Alliance. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the SRT protocol with an Angicus camera using vMix. When using the SRT protocol, you will set your devices, which I will call source and receiver, into listener or caller mode. Now one end of the connection needs to be in caller mode and the other in listener mode. Technically, this is arbitrary and SRT will work so long as the two ends are in these different modes and set up properly. There is also a rendezvous mode, which we will explore in a later video. We prefer to set the cameras into listener mode and the receiver, such as vMix, into caller mode. This is because we generally set up more cameras than receivers. Changing caller mode settings is a little more complex than changing listener mode settings. If we need to switch the device on the receiving end, it is easier to change one device's caller mode settings than multiple caller modes. Now, there are some more technical reasons why we prefer this method, but I won't go into the details today. Today, we will show you how to set up your Angicus camera into listener mode, your vMix software into caller mode, and vice versa. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, you need to type in your camera's IP address into a browser to access the camera controls. You can see that we've typed the IP address right here. This part generates automatically. And down here, we see the camera control login menu. Great, so I'm going to type in my username and my password. No peeking, please. And log in. First, we can see our camera's video feed here, which is in the preview mode. And then we're going to go up to the top right and click on settings. And here are our settings. On the left side, we're going to go down to this menu, and we click on Video Transmission. Video Transmission brings us to this screen, where we can clearly see the SRT settings. Right here. First, we will set up the Listen Mode configuration. Check the mode. Make sure it's on Listen. And go to Enable. And enable it. For our port, we're going to use 1600. For encryption, we're going to turn that on. We're going to leave the key length as is, and we're going to set a passphrase. I'll go with classic 01234567899. And while you do this, make a quick note of the information for your mainstream and substream. This is your IP address, the port number, and your stream ID. The mainstream and substream will have an appendage, which defaults to R equals 0 and R equals 1. Click Save. Success. We did it. All of your information is here, so you can copy and save it. So let me do that. I will copy this. With some applications, you'll use this whole string, but vMix uses each part separately, IP address, port, and stream ID. And now, we're going to open vMix. Great, so we're in vMix now. Now, we go to the bottom left and click Add Input. Add Input gives us the Input Select menu.
Here we have a number of options, and we're going to choose stream slash SRT. Now the camera is in listener mode, so we're going to choose SRT caller mode. Always the opposite. Great. Our host name is the IP address of the camera, which I just copied. And our port, as you remember, is 1600. Passphrase is 01234567889. And our stream ID for the main stream is r equals 0, while the substream is r equals 1. So let's type in the main stream. Here's a quick tip. If your bandwidth is limited, use the substream. The substream offers much lower bandwidth for a small drop in quality. Whenever you're ready, click OK. Give it a moment to connect. And there we go. Now we can see the video feed. If you have multiple cameras, you can add them now using the same procedure. Great, so let's move on and try the other method of adding an SRT stream to vMix. I'll start by closing this stream so we're ready to work from a blank slate. Now we're going to show you how to set the camera into caller mode. This is not our preferred method for most use cases, but it's important to know how to do it because there are always exceptions. With the connection closed and everything reset, we're going to open up camera control again. And here we are. Under SRT setting, check the mode and change it to caller mode. The menu will change a bit. To start the configuration, we need to set the IP address and connection port of the destination. Because we are using vMix on this PC, we need the IP address of this PC. Once I have this, I can start my configuration. I'm going to enable the mainstream and enter the IP address of the destination. I'm going to enable the substream as well, which will have the same IP address. Now for the port, we don't want to overload any existing connections. Therefore, I won't use 1600. Instead, I will use 1601 for the mainstream and 1602 for the substream. It's always a good idea to record this information. So let's see. On paper, I'm writing down main port 1601 and sub 1602. Super. Now we're going to turn on encryption for both of these. Encryption on main, encryption on sub. And now we can create a passphrase. 01234567889. I can do the same for the mainstream and the substream. Great. Next, we can create custom stream IDs. Now, we've already used stream ID r equals 1 and r equals 0. To better keep all of my information properly organized, my mainstream ID will be r equals 2. And the substream will be r equals 3. Remember, if you're low on bandwidth, the substream uses less. And when you're ready, double check this information. Write it down, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do to organize and remember it. And hit save. Success, we did it. Let's go back and open up vMix. Now we're ready to set up vMix listener mode. Add input. And from the input select menu, I'm going to stream slash SRT. Under stream type, we select the SRT listener mode. Great. Here's why writing everything down is important, as a listener mode requires more input. Let's input our mainstream port, which is 1601. And passphrase is 01234567889. And my mainstream ID is r equals 2. Double check all of this information. And then click OK. Give this a moment. Oh, uh, a little faster than I thought it would be. 
Sometimes the connection can take a minute or two to properly connect. But check, and yeah, it's working fine. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching our demonstration today. If you need anything at all, feel free to email sales at angikiss.com. We're always happy to help with any of our cameras or the software or products that we integrate with. Keep an eye out for our future video, vMix for live streaming. Have a great day.